under RT, 25% seats are under EWS and disadvantaged group because we should not uh, means uh, bifurcate these two. What happens? Ki means for disadvantaged group, SC, ST, there is no income barrier. For uh, uh, OBC, there is only income barrier of this creamy layer. This word also needed to be clarified here ki any government employee who is in grade C and if their income is more than 4.5 lakhs then also they are not in creamy layer. For others 4.5 lakh is limit for creamy layer in Delhi that vary from state to state. Even in Delhi disabled people are also in this um, disadvantaged group and for EWS a person having income of 1 lakh annually those are uh, eligible for this and uh, there is some condition the person must stay here in Delhi for last three years we are very disappointed regarding whatever implemented in government schools even regarding this EWS also personally I have filed one RTI application in uh, the act of education and there it surprised us Ke even whatever is share of uh, disadvantaged and EWS in Delhi, they did not got even 30% of whatever they should get in last year. In current year also schools are using various tools. They are reducing number of seats at entry level. There are around 20 to 30 schools which has not taken a single admission under EWS. There are some of the schools which have declared uh, last date of admission which is in contravention of section 15 of RTE Act because entire the year. So they are using various tools and in fact they are trying RTE to defeat whatever provisions already was in Delhi for EWS in land clause or whatever because their admission was in all the classes. As per 7 January notification, they came only that will be at entry level. Then they reduce seats at entry level. Th so these things are uh, here. So due to that reason, it has not been um, implemented that much. But here you are aware that in Delhi, WS admission was from 2004 onwards after RPIL. So that's why people are well aware. And this year we are very optimistic because people are fighting in schools, in the street for this. And we think you, they will get some better and better share, whatever they share. On this particular issue, we have filed one PIL about implementation. It is very surprising. There is a section 4B in that particular notification, which tells you whatever will be maximum number of seats in any class of the school at entry level seat will not be less than that but surprisingly whatever latest affidavit has been filed by DOE instead of uh, taking any stunt action up against those schools they are trying to amend that section it is very surprising and it is very disappointing also so that's why we think the government is not serious they are only for their vote bank they are showing they are very serious regarding EWS if really government wants they have sufficient uh, power under Delhi School Education Act as well as under this uh, RTE Act also. There is a provision of DAMC but you will go in all the district there is no help desk there is provision of time bound grievance readdressal but we are having we have seen some complaints which are pending for last one year nothing happened. So in that case I think ki there we believe ki there is some means uh, collusion between some of the officers no the first problem is at the time of admissions normally schools are trying even they are trying to pick some of them whom they like suppose if any vocal parent comes they are trying to means uh, make various reasons to reject those even regarding disadvantaged group you see that in most of the cases is, uh, there are some schools who are asking income certificate for this disadvantaged group people also where no income certificate was needed even some direction from high court also came on that particular issue and uh, once uh, students are admitted in a school so in some uh, big schools basically after that there are rare problem we are having very few means uh, schools which are creating problems but 
there are another problems because uh, books, uniforms, all these are not being provided. In Guenka, normally uniforms are coming approximately 20 to 25,000 per year. So in that case, how it is possible? That is approximately equal to fees of some low budget schools. So that's why means uh, something should be done. Even in act there is provision, but still now nothing happened.